listening to me? Did you even hear a word that I just said? <laughs> what? What are you, are you okay? What are you, crazy? Crazy, what do you mean crazy? No, no, I don't, I don't mean crazy, baby, but you just screamed. I don't know. What's bothering you? Why don't you talk to me? I can't. Why not? I just... You wouldn't understand. Well, give me a chance to understand. I just... Uh, no, I can't! I guess you can talk to Dr. Rutledge about it. Dr. Rutledge is a professional. It's his job to psychoanalyze. If I were to allow you to start psychoanalyzing me, it could screw up the whole therapy. We might have to start over from scratch. Well, you can't just keep shutting me out. I'm not shutting you out. Yes, you are. Look. Just look, Brandy. Let's not talk about this now. I don't feel like talking about this. Well, when are you going to feel like talking about it? I don't know. You're going to have to quit pushing me on this. I don't feel comfortable. Can we please, just please talk about it later? What's up? Journal entry number 24. It has been almost six weeks now, and I have seen no significant positive progress in Eric Rogers' condition. He actually seems to be worsening with time, and I fear that he is becoming somewhat delusional. After recently speaking with him after our group session, he has informed me that he has experienced some minor hallucinations. This recent development only confirms my suspicions that Eric's condition is deteriorating. Something is eating away at that poor boy's mind. I only hope I can find out what it is and stop it before it is too late. <laughs> So good to see you. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Eric, this is Carl. I would introduce you to Felicia, but once again she has decided not to grace us with her presence. So today it is just us three. How are you doing today? Yeah. Eric, how are you doing? I had another nightmare last night, Doctor. <laughs> nightmare! Dream, not nightmare. Dream, Eric. A dream is when you wake up with a smile on your face. I woke up in a panic. This was a nightmare. 
A nightmare! Nightmare has such a negative connotation about it. Please, as long as we're in group, try to refer to them as dreams, Eric. They're dreams, not nightmares. You can call them whatever you want, but they're getting worse. They're getting worse, Doctor! You gotta make them stop! You gotta help me! Please help me! These things take time, Eric. You know that. The mind is a very complicated piece of machinery. It is not going to happen overnight. I can't afraid. take it. I can't take much more. This is affecting every aspect of my life. I can't concentrate on my work. In fact, I've had to take a week's vacation. And my girlfriend... Sometimes I think I scare her. Scare her? Why do you say you scare her? Sometimes I think I scare myself. <laughs> these, these dreams. And the headaches. And the nightmares. The... Calm down. Sit back and take a deep breath. I'm going to help you, Eric. That's what I'm here for. Now, Eric. Tell me about the dream. This one. I think it's the worst so far. And what makes this one so different from the others? Well, they've all been bad. Like I said, they've all been, been terrible. But this one, this one's, it didn't seem like a dream at all. It seemed like I was actually there. It seemed so real. Well, oftentimes dreams can seem real. I've had dreams like that, which really made you feel like you were actually there doing whatever it was you were doing. It, it, seemed, like, it seemed like I was there. Exactly. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's natural, quite natural. Now, can you remember anything about this dream? At first I couldn't remember anything. Only bits and pieces. But it's not even the dream that, that bothers me so much. It was when I woke up, my feet were covered in mud. Mud? Why were your feet covered in mud? That's what I'm trying to figure out. It, it doesn't make sense. In my dream, I was... Maybe it wasn't a dream at all, but I, I was walking outside. And, and when I woke up, my feet had mud all over them. Eric, are you familiar with the term somnambulism? What? Somnambulism. Simply put, sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? That would explain a lot. I'm beginning to see a progression here. I believe that sleepwalking is a direct result of nightmares. Oftentimes, people who are somnambulistic suffer from chronic nightmares. This is not to be taken lightly, though. This could progress into an acute form of insomnia. When I... When I'm sleepwalking, where do you think I go? Well, probably for the most part, you stay in your home. Sometimes, perhaps, you may go out into the yard with the neighbors. Once there was a, a story of a man who sleepwalked for over 17 miles. And that's where they found him, still asleep the next morning on a park bench. If I'm out wandering 17 miles, I could get hit by a car. Eric, Eric. It's highly unlikely. I don't think... But it could happen! Eric, it is only a story I heard. It was based on no fact whatsoever. Don't get all worked up over this. There's a new drug on the market. It's called phenytrum. For what? Phenytrum. It is a dream inhibitor. You take one before you go to bed. And as you go into sleep, it takes you past the REM state, which is your dream state, and takes you directly into your delta sleep, which is where your body rejuvenates each night. Do you think it might work? I believe it is worth a try, don't you? General entry number 37. I have prescribed phenytrum for Eric's condition. I certainly hope that this works, which is my last resort. 
If I do not have any significant progress with the use of this drug, I'm afraid I will have to have Eric committed. This is tragic, as he is a fine young man. I'm afraid that he is slowly going mad.
screaming and hitting yourself. Did I? I don't think this therapy thing is working. It's Dr. Rutledge is a quack. How can you say that? You don't even know him! Okay, so I don't know him, but I know what he's doing to you. He's helping me. Dr. Rutledge is my friend. He's going to get me through this. And you shouldn't keep pushing me on this. You're being selfish. You're not even qualified to talk about psychology, so I don't understand why in the world we're having this discussion. need to see another doctor. Please, just do it for me. Just get a second opinion. If you love me... Of course I love you. in coming to see me tonight. So she wants you to get a second opinion. And what did you tell her? What could I tell her? And you could have told her. No. Doctor, I love Brandy. And I think I'm losing her. I think she's on the verge of leaving me. And I'm not going to let that happen. That's what you want to do. Now, I know what we're doing here is important. This is the most important thing going on in my life right now. You know, I, I keep trying to explain it to her, but, but she can't understand it. Well, I suppose I can relate to what you're trying to tell me. I do know women. I was married to one for 15 years. You were? What happened? I'm afraid she died. Tragically one day. It was a hunting accident. Go and see your doctor. And when you come back, we'll pick up where we left off. I'm glad you decided to go see Dr. Peterson. Let's hope it helps. What time's your appointment? It's about noon tomorrow kind of nervous about it. Why? Don't be. Look, whatever it is, we're going to get through this together, okay? I love you. I love you. What do you do? What is that? Hmm? What? Nothing. Eric, what are you taking? Dr. Rutledge gave these pills to me! You can at least tell me what they are. Fine. Don't tell me what they are. You see, Eric and I have been working on his little problem. You know about that, don't you? Yeah. 
Yes, you do. And you know, I almost have it so. There's only one little missing piece in the puzzle. Do you know what that is? You. Do do. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, oh, oh. It's the one Eric likes to use when he kills the people. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Your poor little head, it won't help it. Remember, I am a doctor. <laughs> Should we start here, perhaps? Here, perhaps? Or how about? What? A wonderful idea, Eric. Yes. Let's let him do it. He will if I tell him to, you know. Eric, 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 wake up. It's Dr. Rattledge. I need you to do me a favor here, Eric. Do you a favor? What is it, Dr. Rutledge? Take this knife. The knife. I want you to kill the girl. Kill the girl. Kill the girl. And all your problems will be solved, Eric. Take her now. I've got her for you. Do it, Eric. Kill the girl, Eric. Kill the girl, Eric. What are you doing here? Fiance found him at home. He had been totally consumed by his unconscious mind. He is still that way today. This way. So he never speaks. The only time he ever makes a sound is when he screams. 
I mean, there's some papers to sign for this transfer. Now let's make sure someone gets up here and perhaps at the transport. Yes, Doctor. He shouldn't give you any trouble.